Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Frank, and let's get right into this episode on EA MMA. By the title, you can tell it's a title fight, but the opponent is Alistair Overeem. I'm gonna travel. We're gonna work on our stand-up because I feel our ground game is perfect. I'll see everybody when it's time for a new gym. Let's go. We here once again in the UK, Great Britain, London to be exact. Okay, Ballistic this. boxing. It's that time to get our ground game defense up. So I'm gonna do a guillotine takedown. That way, if Alistair Overeem takes us down, we can possibly choke him out real quick with a guillotine. I'll see everybody out there when we learn this move. Avoid being taken down for the duration of the exercise. You cannot sprawl, so use dashing effectively. We'll do, we'll do. No sprawl, so we're gonna have to really move and keep that footwork hot. I think we can actually throw some jabs of our own. We can, beautiful. This is how we're gonna have to get ready for Alistair Overeem. This guy right here that we're fighting at Ballistic Kickboxing though is a beast. Throwing high head kicks, fast kicks to the legs. There it is, a good leg kick as well from James Kingpin Price and a beautiful body kick. I mean, it's all about technique, this fight coming up. And I'm not too sure when Webb is gonna start throwing these takedowns in, but I'm gonna keep moving around, stay on my pivot, block all the shots coming in and hopefully make it through this round without being taken down. It's Alistair Overeem was killing it in strike force, but that is who we're facing. And honestly, I'm a bit, I'm a bit nervous. I'm a bit nervous. I really have no idea what to expect, but as long as we can keep our hands up and not get rocked like we just did, I think we will walk through this man with no issues. All right, and once again, I am going to work on that stand-up game. I really wanna get my chin up, but I think it's gonna be all about movement and range this time around. Punks, I'm not gonna lie, we was not fighting good at all. James Kingpin Price was getting worked by this dude at Ballistic Kickboxing. But I mean, you gotta just, you gotta fight through the adversity. That's probably the biggest thing going into this fight is fighting what, through that adversity. That if we you can keep right going job. until that final bell, until that final whistle, we will win this fight. Now I know it has been a bit of time until we get into this fight, probably about three minutes so far in this video. But I'm gonna try and pick this up as quick as possible. I'm gonna sim this last training drill this last week, and it is time for the fight day. Got you, coach. Got you. I appreciate the kind words. And Boss Rutwin has something to say as well. We can read it real quick, but let's get right to the fight. High voltage championship heavyweight fight for the Strike Force MMA belt. Alistair Overeem, 46 and 14 in Strike Force, going up against yours truly. James Kingpin Price, the 16-0 heavyweight wrestler, looks to make it 17-0 tonight. I'll see everybody out there, hopefully with the victory, against Alistair Uber Overeem. And we are here. Time for the championship fight. Alistair Overeem walking to the octagon now, and he's ready. James Kingpin Price has the fight of his life coming up. And here he is, the man, the myth. The legend, James Kingpin Price, making his way to the arena. From the Sin 702, Las Vegas, Nevada. Fight capital of the world. And the tail of the tape, 6'5", 240 for yours truly, 16 and 0, 46 and 14, 6'5", 260 pounds. And let's hear the official introductions. It's that time, showtime, let's go. We thank you for joining us at the HP Pavilion. No worries. This championship fight is scheduled for five rounds of action. Let's do it. We begin with the champion. This man the is champ, a okay. Fighter. Let's see. Fighting out of England, please welcome the reigning and defending heavyweight champion, Alistair Demolition Man Overeem. And now, the challenger is And future champ, come on. Here he is. He is a wrestling standout. No surprise. Olympic champion. James Kingpin Price. Let's go. James Kingpin Price ready for this fight. We'll see how it goes. Will there be a glove tap? Let's find out. Big John McCarthy brings the two beasts together. We've been over the rules. Fight so my of the future at all times. of Strike Force. A fight for the future. I like that one right there. Are you ready? Are I'm ready, ready, John. Let's get it on. Let's see how they feel about a glove tap. Let's see what Overeem think, thinking about. Wow, okay. Let's go, let's go, let's move, let's move. He showcases his fancy footwork by yep. sliding to the right. No, come on. Nope, I don't like that. I don't like that. Give me a takedown from here. Come on. No way. Overeem gets denied. And a great takedown from James Kingpin Price. On the ground now, and Overeem looking to get up, but a good deny 
from James Kingpin. But a nice sweep reversal. And uh-oh, we are in a bad position. Great deny, though. And hopefully we work back to the full guard. We do. A good deny, but no luck. Good punch. Actually lands one of his own. Ah, just gets him off. Beautiful. Work that body, Frank. Ha. No way. Overeem going for a takedown, but a beautiful hip toss, judo style. Come on, man. It's all about the uh, uh, opponent's momentum. Using that in James Kingpin Price did exactly that. Now looking to jump into an advantageous position. We do. Up into the top. Mounts. Not mounted just yet. But looking to put some decent strikes on him. And he gets right back to the bottom half guard. And James Kingpin Price gets reversed. Come on, man. How come I don't get no reversals, huh? I might have to go for a judo fighter next time around. But we know Overeem is a Muay Thai style fighter. And I'm not the greatest off my back. I will say that. And I will be the first to admit it. But there he goes. A beautiful sweep. Come on, James Kingpin Price. Let's go. We got to fight. And we got to fight very hard. Good deny. James Kingpin Price looking for an advantageous position. He gets up. Looking for a knockout. Let's go. Go for it. Go for it. Overeem not even doing anything here. I'm a bit surprised. Just looking to block up. Maybe letting me get tired. We'll find out though. Looking for a Kamora submission, but it gets denied. A good transition from his back. And he decides to get me off the postured up mount, but I'm looking for it again. Beautiful punch. Where's the elbows at? Where are the elbows at? A good left hand. With a hammer fist blocking up to make sure my guard is there as well. I don't know why he's not throwing any punches at me. There we go. As soon as I say that, he throws a little cheeky one at me. Trying to catch me off guard. A beautiful punch gets through the guard of James Kingpin Price. And I think a bit of blood is now on the canvas. We can see that. I'm not sure whose it is, but I'm hoping it's not James. Ah, oh, good transition. I was a bit hesitant on that one. Not sure what was going to happen. But James Kingpin Price now looking for a knockout on the ground. I mean, this is his domain for sure. And we're looking to work the body and the head. Let's go body, body, head. We kind of got to stay disciplined for sure. Move around on the ground. And there we go. Beautiful transition into the top mount. And looking for the posture up now. Gets denied. No surprise. Overeem is a beast on the floor. I mean, when he was in the UFC, before he got popped for them PEDs and steroids, Uberim, man, there was nobody that could stop him. I'm talking about nobody. He went in there and I think he head kicked somebody to like space. I forget who he fought exactly in that one, but now we got the back here and it could be all over. Tries to buck me off, but no luck. Overeem on the ground here and James Kingpin Price looking to put some work in. He's bleeding pretty bad and he goes to get me off and he does. Good little, I guess you could call that get up. Looking for the body punches. Wow, Uberim looking for a teeth kick to the body. A good jab now and maybe popping that clinch. But here we go. James Kingpin Price looking for his own. Good body kick. Maybe a takedown. Great sprawl from Uberim there. Looking to probably get a transition. Tries to deny me, but I go right to the... I just give up my back, you know. Good full guard. I'd rather be here than in that position I just was. Especially when I'm looking for the Gogo Plata. I might get it. Let's go. In the rubber guard. And it's time to make this man bleed. I'm looking for the knockout. Let's keep working. I wish I could throw an elbow here. Really, I wish I could. I don't know how, though. Let's see. I'm trying to figure it out. What? Bro, I'm putting in work, McCarthy. He stands us up. Not something I wanted to see, really. Oh, good block. Overeem, no. I think he might be a little tired. Nice roundhouse delivered. Good punches. Overeem. Oh, and he delivers a monstrous kick. And uh-oh, this could be bad. This could be very bad, but James Kingpin Price, thankfully, gets a really good takedown. Very, very clutch. I mean, if he didn't get that takedown, I think this would have been a very big knockout win for Overeem. I got to get my chin up come next fight for sure. And Overeem with a good get up. I'll give him that. And he breaks the clinch. The first round could be in the books here. And another beautiful takedown. But now he's looking for the guillotine. And I'm probably about six seconds left on the clock. So for sure, I'm getting out regardless of this one and I felt like I was gonna get out I trust my skills when it comes to submissions but the first round is in the books and now it is time for this second round of the championship fight I'm looking for the finish come on man come towards me bro actually if he gets wow he tried to blitz me that's what he tried to do and when he throws that kick, I'm going right for the takedown. I'm not playing any games with Overeem. He's way too good. Wow. Really good punches here from the ground. Alistair Overeem has me on my back now, and I'm trying to work that jujitsu. I'm going to be looking for the Gogo Plata. That's what I'm looking for right now. Good deny and a beautiful transition. As soon as he throws a strike, 
Now looking for a submission, maybe on my back. We're gonna have to really work for something here. Let's see if I can throw up the Gogo Plata, and I do. Now looking for, or excuse me, throwing up the rubber guard, looking for the Gogo Plata. Getting ahead of myself there. And here we go, good transition. Back to the closed guard, full guard. Looking now to get that rubber guard now, and the Gogo Plata, maybe. Looking for it, good deny. Gogo Plata, let's look for it. Beautiful, and it could be all over for Overeem. We're gonna have to work though, we're gonna have to work. We know, we know. His submission right now is probably 80 and ours is like 50. It's gonna be very tough to get him, but here we go and it could be done. The Google bot is in and it's over. Alistair Overing taps and the new champion is James Kingpin Price. I'm not really surprised, but I knew it was gonna be a tough fight and that it was. A beautiful Google Plata to end the match, possibly his best submission and he is the one that patented him that. Beautiful, the dexterity in your knee to be able to get that submission at 6-5 is crazy. But it's that time, we know who it is, and new. Let's go, man, James King Pin Price. Long time coming, and finally we are here. The Strike Force Championship sits on his waist, and I wanna thank everybody that's been supporting me on this journey. Just want to say, if you enjoyed, drop a like down below. Subscribe for more content like this. It's been Frank in the Octagon with James Kingpin Price. Let me know what you want to see next in the comments regarding a new fighter or maybe even a new series. I will be dropping that Undisputed Boxing, so stay tuned for that if you are interested. All right, everybody, stay safe out there. Peace out.